welcome folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We have five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Always do your best. Express your own divinity. You don't need the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you and express your own divinity by being alive, loving yourself, and loving others. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 82, NASDAQ off 159, S&P's off 21, gold contract up $5.70, trading at 1810 an ounce. You got silver down 14 cents, $20.46 an ounce, light sweet crude, flat, $90.58 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 12 ticks, trading 119.15, 30 year off seven at 142.11 and King Dollar. King Dollar's down uh, 50 ticks, 106. 386. The number to keep your eye on in the dollar, folks, is 106.752. You get the, uh, where, are you, where are you hiding now? I thought I had this straightened out. We get the euro out here at a price point of 101. The pound's at 120, and the, and the yen is at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, this is going to be pretty cool watching this shake out because check this out. I'm going to put this up just an intraday, you know, just a, basically a line chart. But what you're going to see here is that the S&P, this is the future, has been trying to get by this downtrend, okay? Now, we have volume each time we've hit this line, but it hasn't been able to make it, man. Uh, you know, and when you set up, where the strength is, the strength is still at the top. You can see this, we, you see that expansion of volume in the last 10 minutes, that was 27,000 contracts. The prior one, they had 21,000. Now the prior one there couldn't make it by with 37,000. Then we had 76,000. My take is that we're gonna bust through here coming into the close. So this is gonna get really interesting. Why? Because when you look at the daily, right? Now let's bring this to the daily. What you're gonna see on the daily, this is a pullback with dramatically lighter volume. So, you know, we get the CPI tomorrow, bottom line, you're pulling back, you don't have sellers. You're at 32 million um, shares traded. You're going at the 56 million. That's in the uh, SPY. We go take a look at the NDX 100, the three Qs. Three Qs right now, get 31 million shares traded. That 31 is going into uh, 53. So we'll do like 44, more than likely. And of course, what ended up happening yesterday is that we went higher with 44 million. Now, let's just go to the dollar and cut to the chase, man, because the dollar is the name of the game. So dollar right now, bottom line, it, it's making its way back. It had a low today of 105.969, rejected lower price. Uh, it's hanging kind of, you know, well, not kind of, it's definitely hanging uh, once again that it wants to try to get up above this 106.792. That's the crucial area, folks. That's the bottom line. What we had done on uh, Friday, you got above it, closed below it. Yesterday, you got above it, closed below it. Today, just the opposite. You went lower and they rejected lower price. So that's telling me it's going to try to get, get into that once again. Gold. We go into the gold contract. We look at the gold contract. Now we get an expansion of volume from yesterday. I'd like to see a lot more volume. When gold wants to go topside, you normally get 178,000 to 225 in the contract volume. Right now you only get 114,000. You know, yeah, it's peaking its head over. Um, you know, last uh, Thursday and Friday, but the bottom line is that it needs more volume in a monster way. If we look at the higher um, volume inside the NDX 100, what's moving it? You got Vertex is up 1.6%. You got AstraZeneca up 1.4%. Uh, XL uh, is up 1.2%. Uh, and Kraft Heinz is up 1.2%. Taken away from it. AMAT's down 8%. You get Lamb Research down 8%, Marvel's off 7.8%, you get Zoom down 7.3%. So you get some big numbers out here. Let's go to yeah, AMAT for a second. So we look at AMAT. Let's see how this baby's set up. Whoa, okay. So you get a gap down. It's trying to get into the higher range. You're gapping down right there. What is that? 96 uh, 96 and we're trading 
Low is 97. Yeah, this can get to 96 pretty easy, no doubt. Let's go take a look inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness out here. We have uh, point-wise, this is what we have. The Dow's down 85 right now, putting positive points into it. You get United Health putting 23, Big Mac uh, 16, Travel is 15, Microsoft 10, taken away from it. Salesforce minus 52, you get Home Depot minus 41. Uh, Nike is uh, minus 26 and you get IBM minus 21. Well, some of the higher volume equities that we have out here, and this is gonna be a light volume day, you have uh, Intel is down 78 cents. You got Microsoft up a buck 68. Chevron's up a buck 40. Uh, Visa is down uh, 314. Amgen is up 152. Uh, and let's go take a look at a couple of the big dogs. We got Amazon. There she is. Amazon right now is trading down a buck 85. Is Disney out today? Is it? Let's see, the 10th is that. No, it's 10th tomorrow. So Disney's down 139, trading 107, 325. Same thing with Disney. Disney went higher yesterday with volume. Look at this. Yeah, Disney's a small ABC up. That's a, this is a small ABC up. Man. Yeah, Disney's going to come out with good numbers. So Disney yesterday did volume with 13 million to pull them back with five. That five is pulling back into 11. And we take a look at this. How would we set this up? Yeah, let's, that's, that's 109.70. Oh, this is a good ABC up, man. Hold it. 109.70. Yeah. That's nine bucks. That gets you 115. You're at 107. That's an ABC structure up to 115. So that's not a bad situation. The last time with volume on the way down was 120. Well, yeah, let's look at that one. That's 105. The next one's 128, I think. Yeah, 124 would be the next one. So there's some, uh, there's some juice there. We'll see whether it, it uh, gets some follow through. Uh, chip sector, the SMHs, that's getting smoked out here in a big way. There's no doubt. Uh, and what does happen, there's no doubt, man, that where the SMHs go, that's where the market wants to go. So this is going to get interesting watching this shake out. It's down 981 right now, trading at 229. And we take a look at this. And this is down on volume, man. This is definitely down on volume. So, oh, this is interesting though. It hadn't, <coughs> so check this out. It hasn't hit the bottom of sign of strength yet. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. The bottom of the sign of strength is 225.42. If this is it, <laughs> that's gonna be an interesting, man, because the individual equities have got toasted, no doubt about that, but that hasn't made it to the bottom of the strength yet. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman.